selamat datang ke seluruh kami so this is Tim Invent Adventures untuk hari ini video um, Facebook says Malaysia impossible video as false and misleading so actually we saw this one already on the previous day but uh, so now we decided to do a reaction into this so uh, let's start let's start Guys, that my Malaysian video, the best video that I've ever made, promotes false, misleading, deceptive claims. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysians. Not only did I use accurate facts and even source many of the areas where I got the information, I also had 30 YouTubers do fact checks on it and review the video. And the only thing I found out from their reviews was that there was more things I should have included that Malaysia had done, like giving free internet. This is frustrating because a country like Malaysia about that thing, remember, actually, guys, we did already a uh, re uh, reaction also of Mal how mm. Malaysia did the impossible. So we have like 220,000 views there. So, um, you know what? I told to Tim before, actually, we don't want to do reaction into that before, but uh, I told to Tim that um, um, it's really for me, it's mm. really like kind of, it's really like, you know, legit. Mm, yeah. Because um, as what he says there, he asked 30 mm. YouTubers or let's say he asked more than that, more mm. than 30 probably from Malaysia to do that video. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he, he just to, just uh, let's just rewind the tape a bit. Uh, what, what happened here? Facebook, they banned his video? Yeah, they banned his video into the face For false and misleading, misleading. information. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I'm even questioning this entire thing that why is Facebook doing this, right? I mean... If there's if there's something that's false in the video, and I think I'm, I, I trust this guy, I'm sure everything is fine. But even if there was something that was inaccurate, why not just keep it there? And then people can write comments say, "Hey, this thing is inaccurate," and then you can have a discussion, right? Why block the why block the video on Facebook? Let's continue. I Let's think continue. he was gonna say something ah, more. Okay, okay. Often gets ignored when you look at countries that did amazing fighting COVID-19. It's all about Western countries or maybe Taiwan, but a country like Malaysia is completely off the map. And I worked really hard to give Malaysia the justice they deserve. And Facebook, which is supposed to be for the people, is not for the Malaysian people. So no wonder a place like Malaysia is ignored. Because when somebody actually does a story and shows the great things about Malaysia, it's called false, and Facebook blocks the organic reach and blocks ads. Facebook has no email, has no phone number, has no way to contact them, and has no explanation of why they think it's false and misleading. Okay, that's and the yet, thing. They yeah. Okay, that's the thing. In all social medias, they will just directly, pro they will just, you know, do directly like, but I don't know about Facebook. Yeah, I think the problem is that, think about it, right? Facebook is such a big media now, right? Mm. That if you're banned from Facebook or some of this stuff, then mm. where can you... It's kind of hard to spread the information elsewhere. Mm. So this guy, right? Okay, of course, he's on YouTube still, but mm. I mean, it's it's a problem that you have these medias that you can't really contact, right? Mm. And if there's anything false and misleading, please just tell what it is, right? I think this guy has a point here. So that, so that yeah, actually, you really has the point of this mm. one because um, you just want to know why it's mm. black, so that you can explain yourself. So that's how it is. That yeah, video was. yeah, and, and even if there was some inaccurate things, but just keep it there, and then you can put some some notes in the comments, right? Or you can just cut the yeah. the the yeah. things that you know. Don't cut it. Just let it be there, and then we can, people can discuss it, right? We have an Discussing office knowledge. in yeah. Malaysia. So if anybody knows somebody working for Facebook in Malaysia or anywhere in the world, could you please ask them to look up my video and tell me what is misleading? What should I do different so that they don't think it's wrong and false? Because it's a big surprise to me. This is not the only video I had trouble with Facebook. Actually, I've had a lot of them. They took down which country is the most dangerous in the world where I used Wikipedia to show which countries are actually the most dangerous. And Facebook continually has not allowed me to make any money on any of my videos, which I don't do this for money. I do this because I want to show the world things that they might not realize. But it would be nice to be able to make a little bit of money to help pay for my equipment and the editor that helps me make these videos. Oh, good job. Mm. That's why um, you really has a point into that that you know to help pay for your equipment yeah. so that's how it is because you know what 
even how even you we have a lot of views or what honestly we never get a lot of that mm. so um the whole series really um is really telling the truth that just to help for his equipment then yeah it's, yeah that's right i mean even us you know yeah. what guys because of your memberships because mm. of the super chat yeah. or sometimes you're giving us into my was that paypal me yeah. pay, paypal me like yeah. that in our description we're having like this exactly it makes it it makes it we, a bit we easier have for us, a right? nice setup here yeah exactly yeah i think i mean this guy has a point i think yeah it's it's kind of a tough situation that when you don't get a reason right and then all of a sudden you i mean it's it's not a lot of money but it just helps it's also motivation right mm. yeah motivates you to motivates you to vlog more or to you know yeah and actually it's not only for vlogging for the money but of course for for like you know for for fun yeah for happiness yeah. and for the things that you want to know more yeah so, sometimes like when she invites me out on a restaurant and says like hey tim this is for the youtube money right huh sometimes you invite me out on a, to a restaurant right uh-huh and then you're saying hey I'll, i'm gonna i'm gonna pay this one right because it's yes the salary. actually you, yeah. this weekend i treat tim because mm-hmm. we have the salary in youtube yeah. and i told to tim that every month i'm gonna i'm gonna treat tim because yeah. of what we got in youtube and of course Thank you guys for that. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> it's a nice steak. <laughs> and this is not the only time Facebook has attacked Malaysian videos or Malaysians. For example, Epic Asian has had a lot of trouble with Facebook. He uploaded a great video and it got stolen, downloaded, and re-uploaded on a different channel. And then Facebook actually gives Epic Asian a notification that he had stolen and used information from the video that was his that got re-uploaded. How crazy is that? And he had a ton of troubles when he tried to talk to Facebook about it. I think it's best to just let him speak about it. I have no way to talk to them. I want to apply for the copyright manager. They don't they don't let me apply for it. I try to apply for a blue tag. They say no, we close your case. Recently, I know another Malaysian couple got hacked. They went to the Singapore Facebook headquarters and they ignore her also. They are so much bigger than me and they ignore her. To be honest, I don't think Facebook will will help us because I think Facebook don't like Asian. And I'm not sure why Facebook doesn't seem to treat Malaysians fairly. But I think with an organization as huge as Facebook, it's so important that they treat all people, creators, and countries equally. And so, if anybody knows anybody at Facebook, please private message me. As I travel to every country, I soon discovered the world to be very different than I imagined. I make videos to show the other side of wow. places I'm fairly treated and ignored. Follow wow. to learn more. Warning, be prepared to be surprised by what you might learn. Facebook say- you wow. know what? Um, you know what? Um, you know what? Actually, I really like his uh, video. But yeah. the time we started to do the homo which didn't possible, because you know, um, as a, as a YouTuber, um, every is everything like this, especially this kind of information will detail the information. Um, I don't think so. If he will like, you know, upload like misleading or what. And yeah. as what he says a while ago, he asked a lot of, of people from Malaysia or vlogger from Malaysia to check the video before he was going to upload that. Hey, I'm, I'm sure this guy is doing a good job and is not uh, posting anything that's wrong. But even if there was, an, was an, an inaccuracies, right? So what? Then just write, there's a comment track, right? Just write co- comment, hey, this thing is, then you can, maybe you can edit it. And I mean, why uh, why ban it totally, that's right? Why there's, that's why they, they say that we have a freedom of speech mm. or like, you know, freedom... You can just say whatever you want. So if you if mm. you see that the video of this guy is like you know false or misleading, as what Sam says, then just you know comment. Yeah. Oh, this video is like this. Oh, in the seven point fifteen minutes, blah blah blah. That's how how we do it. And then maybe everyone can learn something, right? Yes. yes. Exactly. But anyway, sometimes really don't know what's really going on. So. So thank you for watching our video. And uh, yeah, I hope that this video is, 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 is uh, maybe Facebook will change their mind. Uh, but let's see. Have a good day, morning, evening, wherever you are. Yes, and continue doing your vlog. Exactly. Don't worry, we keep on watching you. And we're saying terima kasih to everyone. Terima kasih everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.